Hi folks, here we are again at Premier Trailer. Nice, cool November day. Snow's just around the corner. What better time to talk about snowmobile trailers? Uh, but for, first, before we do, I wanted to thank everybody that contacted us and said they found these video series that we've been doing for the last six months very helpful, very informative, thought we did a great job. So I'd like to thank both of those people. Thank you, Bob and Hilda. You know your folks don't like it when you mention their names. Okay, so Never we'll start mind. off by talking about the uh, the entry level snowmobile trailer, and this is when we first start off snowmobiling. This is what we pick up because uh, snowmobiling can be pricey. We get a couple of used sleds. We come in, we buy an open trailer as our first trailer. Um, this is an eight and a half by ten. It'll handle. Uh, they were kind of built to handle uh, 121, 136 tracks. Now that sleds are getting a little longer, you can still handle a little bit more. However, you're going to hang out off the back after about 137. Uh, 137 inch track that is um, but these are all aluminum this particular one is a, a trail rider by Forest River uh, the, the ranch aluminum division this one has all the grommet mounted LED lights uh, it has 8 inch tires Torflex axle um, nice lightweight inexpensive um, pressure treated deck on them as well uh, tie downs on the back and they do come with although we don't have them on this one uh, just because it was a lot they do come with the screw in tie downs that uh, have two positions to tie the skis down. It's just a bar that goes across the skis that you crank down and holds them into place. This particular one can also come, comes with the optional tongue jack, which makes it nice and easy to uh, when taking it off your vehicle. Also available is a snow shield for the front of it. Helps protect your, your machines when you're going down the highway and keeps the debris off your machines. So next, after uh, we spend a few seasons with an open trailer, a lot of us want to move up to an enclosed trailer. Um, our uh, Forest River uh, manufacturers uh, out of the Rance Lightning Division do an avalanche trailer that has a rear ramp door. It's, it's not the clamshell style that we all used to use years and years ago, uh, although it does have the kick out front that will accommodate a, a ski so you can get that extra long track in there. Um, so it, it looks like a clamshell, but it's not. Um, these avalanche units are completely welded frame before they're finished. They, they are not just a deck like the old clamshells and with a pop-up top. It is completely welded frame, completely welded uh, side posts, and then finished with the exterior metal. Um, they're, they're very clean, very light, because again, they're all aluminum, uh, very easy to load. This one is a single unit. As you can tell by the width in the front, it's five and a half feet by 11. Some of our competitors say they're, um, uh, these trailers are 12 feet long. They're actually not, they're, they're 11. Uh, we're all about the same, but we do have an extended version, which we'll talk about in a few minutes uh, to accommodate the super long tracks, the mountain sleds. Um, they all come standard with front access door for um, loading in equipment or if you want to pull up to fuel your sled you can put the fuel hose through there um, they all come standard with a swivel tongue jack this one does not have the side door but they do come with the side door as an optional feature um, many of the single place units uh, these ones are, are, are value price. They're a great unit, but we're able to sell them at a great price. So we're trying to keep the price down for those that want to haul one sled. Um, if someone requests a side door, we can certainly order one in for you. So now uh, we move up to the tandem or the two place uh, avalanche style trailer. Again, rear ramp door, solid frame, completely enclosed. Um, Kevin brought up a good point uh, that you could use these as storage. You can use them as snowmobile trailers, you can use them as ATV trailers as well. And that's why a lot of people refer to them as crossover trailers. Uh, they do come, again, standard with the um, uh, uh, swivel tongue jack with the wheel on it. The locking hatch in the front, again, just like the single place, uh, also comes with the tie-down bars for, uh, for the front of the snowmobiles. And uh, this one here has the optional side door. So if you follow me around this way, You'll see that there's a, a man door here, which is perfect, uh, not only for getting in and out, but as a fuel door. So when they first came out, we were using fuel doors in these as an optional feature. Um, you can fuel through the front hatch, but some felt it was easier to fuel door, uh, you have a fuel door on the side for fueling. And then when we get smart and everybody started putting in side doors as an optional feature, it makes it a lot easier to fuel up when you pull up to the pumps. Uh, it has the engineered floor. This is Rainbacher flooring and that floor is designed so that it won't absorb water like plywood. So it's actually better than plywood 
harder, uh, high, high resin content. It's not the cheap or, uh, OSB that some people think it is. It, it, it resists water very, very well. It's, um, the next step up from this floor would be marine grade plywood, uh, but this is definitely the, better than regular three quarter inch plywood. Uh, it has a, an interior light in it. It also has the rear stabilizer jacks on the back end so that you can uh, move around. Uh, not necessarily the best idea to load and unload when you're not attached to the vehicle, but at least you can move around when you're not attached to a vehicle, get it in and out. Um, I'm not a fan, even with stabilizer jacks, of loading uh, or unloading when not attached to the vehicle because if a stabilizer jack ever failed, uh, it's going to cause some damage for sure. Again, LED lights on this model all the way around, uh, rear ramp door, not a clamshell. Uh, this is where the industry is moving, and because of this product, it's harder and harder all the time to, to find a clamshell style unit, brand new. Uh, most dealers are only carrying these. These are very well priced, much stronger, much tougher, um, just a better all around uh, loading experience and unloading experience, um, and much more value out of them. So this one here, is a tube place that will handle most long track sleds. But for those that have an, um, like a, a 161 uh, mountain sled, uh, there are other options. We have a tandem axle version of this avalanche just down here. This avalanche here is the 13 foot avalanche, has two axles with brakes, is excellent for bigger machines, mountain machines. Again, it has the fold down it's actually two feet longer than the conventional avalanche that Terry just showed you. Again, it has the same features. It has the rain block flooring, fold down back doors, has the tie downs, tie downs up front, and this one also has the optional man door and LED lights. This avalanche here has two 2,200-pound axles with brakes. So now we're into our drive-in, drive-out series. Uh, we sell Lightning LTFES drive-in, drive-out trailers, all aluminum. They're fantastic trailers. Uh, they're priced well. Uh, of course, everything here at Premier Trailers is priced well, but the value is there. The quality is there. This is uh, a Lightning uses T6 aluminum. Um, they, uh, the, these trailers, I think this one here is an 18 foot. It's under 2,000 pounds. It, it hauls well. The 18 foot is in addition or uh, not including the five foot v nose so it's an 18 foot box um, plus the five foot v nose with the uh, lightning units they start with the ltf es units they start with the 7 by 12 single axle then we move to a 7 by 14 tandem axle this one's a 7 by 18 tandem axle this unit here that we're looking at has the optional radar package as well as six inches additional height and uh, we'll take you down back in a minute. We'll show you the optional dock lights on this one. This, this is a fantastic unit. Uh, this one here, I believe this is charcoal in color. It has LED lights all the way around it. One piece seamless aluminum roof. Uh, this one, we put a sloping V-nose on it. That's a no charge feature that we can add. Uh, they have a, uh, the standard tongue jack, um, the swivel tongue jack. That's a standard feature. The front ramp door on the LTFESs are standard. Uh, this one has the radar package. So it has a few features, including the front uh, spring assist. Uh, the standard trailer has rear spring assist. This one, because it has the radar, has the front spring assist. Uh, radar package also includes the, the flap on the ramps. Radar package also upgrades the floor in the ramps to this, again, the, the rain blocker flooring we were talking about earlier. Uh, this one actually has the rain blocker on the kick plate as well. Um, there's This one is a three-place trailer, so it has enough D-rings in the floor to use to strap down to hold three, three machines loaded in, uh, in an inline style. Uh, radar package, back to that again, includes the 16-inch um, uh, on-center roof uh, bows, um, as well as 16-inch on-center uh, wall supports. The 16-inch on-center wall supports are standard. The 16-inch on-center uh, roof bows are uh, with the radar package. Radar package also gives you this nice white interior wall that we see here. It also includes two fuel doors on the radar package. Um, and we'll take you outside and I'll show you the wheels because the, the aluminum wheels also are included in the radar package. Now this is a feature, you can see these two boxes from the inside. 
These are the optional dock lights and we'll have a look at those outside and talk about how they improve trailering. Uh, this is not part of the radar package. It is an optional feature amongst itself. Um, uh, standard again with these units we have, as Kevin was pointing out, uh, the roof vent, standard. Uh, side door with the RV style lock, standard. You can lock this when you're inside and outside. Lock and unlock it. Nice feature. Has the interior light too. It's too, bad, it's too bad, Terry, you don't have a cabinet that you can put your helmets and jackets on. They actually do. Thank you, Kevin, for that lean-in. We, uh, we can have um, four-foot helmet shelves, which are open, or we can install two-foot helmet cabinets, or I guess they're not just helmet cabinets because you can put straps or whatever you want to in it. Um, fairly economical, uh, both of them, uh, but it's a personal preference thing. So let's walk outside, and we'll talk a little bit more of the outside features of this. Um, again, we talked about this in our cargo series, Lightning uh, does a really good job. They, they do the um, hardware zinc coated and then powder coated over top of that and that just resists that running effect that you get when you only have a zinc coated hardware like on some enclosed trailers, especially snowmobile trailers, they're exposed to a salty environment and after a few years the zinc coating will start to rust and then the rust runs down. The powder coating that they've done on top of the zinc coating really helps prolong the life and the look of the trailer. Screwless exterior, bonded with the 3M product, that uh, um, great product. We've never had a seam separate. Uh, I've had some people ask me about that. I guess it's a concern because of other brands have had seam separate. Uh, these things, um, uh, we've had great luck with them and we've never had a panel, ever had a panel come off of a stud uh, out of hundreds of these types of units sold. Again, the outside uh, version of the, the outside visual of the RV style lock uh, has two locks. One's a dead lock and the other one locks the handle. We come down to uh, the LED fender lights. And again, as part of the radar package, you've got the aluminum wheels and radial, radial tire upgrade. Um, this is not part of the standard or radar package. This anodized stripe is optional, uh, relatively inexpensive, but it pr improves the looks, uh, personal preference thing. Again, fuel door comes with the radar package, or if you order a standard trailer, you can order an optional fuel door by itself. Now, this is one of my favorite features on this trailer is the dock lights. Uh, that's a stainless steel housing, and these lights come out on an angle. So you're actually shining light coming out this way. Some people like the reverse lights that they have in the back of trailers, but reverse lights are backup lights. That's really all they do is show people that you're backing up. Handy safety feature, but they don't do a lot for visibility at night. These units, you can't see directly behind a trailer at night anyways. So these dock lights will shine to the side so you can kind of see what you're backing towards if you're using your mirror correctly, or if you're turning, you get a little bit of a, um, a lighting that'll show if you're backing into something. I think these are fantastic. Not enough people order them. Most trailers come with 18 inch rock chip. But not the radar package. But not the radar package. This actually has two foot. On the radar package. On the radar package only. Very nice. And extra finish when you're cruising down the highway. So now that we've gone through the drive in, drive out in the snowmobile series, I um, wanted to show you a nice feature that we can get on these Lightning all aluminum car haulers. Uh, the LT. Uh, I think they're LTCH models. Um, this one has the two 3,500 pound axles, but we can get them at 250, 200. Um, with the aluminum trailers, they're so much lighter than the steel trailers and car haulers. We really can get more weight into these, and so you don't have to move up to 250, 200 pound axles like you do in the steel trailers. The reason why we want to talk about this one this time of year is it actually has the drive out front ramp option. This is an option on the Lightning aluminum car haulers, um, and you can see it has the sloping V-nose on it, all the nice features that the um, uh, snowmobile trailers do, and the optional front ramp. So you can get the car hauler without the front ramp, but this one has that. It's a four foot because it's eight and a half wide. Uh, this particular unit is a 20 foot box plus a four foot V-nose, and that uh, will accommodate four sleds in this unit um, and it hauls like a snowmobile trailer however you can load a car in here. Um, these units are I think this is six and a half in height interior height or, or close to it. 
Again, same features as the, um, the aluminum lightning stone wheel trailers in that they're all screwless sides, uh, one piece seamless aluminum roof, LED lights all the way around, uh, RV style radius top side door. Um, uh, this one has the optional anodized stripe as did the other stone wheel trailer. A lot of nice features in this that make this a real good value uh, for somebody that has snowmobiles, has side-by-sides, has ATVs, and might haul a car the occasional time, and might haul, haul cars all the time. Uh, and a lot of people buy these even for, uh, you know, four, four or five motorcycles and traveling down south. Um, again, two 3,500-pound Dexter brake axles on this. Uh, weight on this one, I'll have to check that out because I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think we're fairly light. Um, your carrying capacity on this unit, anytime you're interested in a trailer and you're looking at how much they'll carry, uh, your cargo on this is almost 4,500 pounds, 4,464 pounds. So you're, you're not limited. Uh, you can put a lot of cars, most cars in here, in some small SUVs as well. Uh, a lot of people have their hot rods want to bring them down south for the winter time it's a it's a great option and then they have the trailer here if they come back up and do a little bit of snowmobiling in the uh, in the winter time again we'd like to thank everybody for watching our videos and stay tuned because there will probably be more uh but if you do have any questions please feel free to call us at the office during business hours we're open monday through friday uh 8 a.m to 6 p.m 506-847-1199. Saturdays, except for long weekends, we're open from uh, 8.30 till 12 noon. We are closed on long weekends and uh, we are open by appointment as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.